while I'm drawn to flowers, I'm drawn to the color of tulips and the way light and color work together. I also love to do close-up photography. It seems like I create a different world or I'm in a different world when I'm very close to an object, like a tulip, a flower. I mean, it relates back even to the early days when I used to photograph found objects. I would always love to isolate them from the rest of the world. And when I come into really close to a tulip, I'm like in its world. I'm very concentrated and focused on the color, the light. It's thrilling for me, actually. It's like a, a, a bolt of lightning going through me or energy. I love it. Color is energy. Tulips are especially wonderful because of the way they interact with light. A lot of, a lot of people love to dismiss you by saying, oh, that's been done before. That's been done before. At Minor Whites, we used to laugh. He used to say, everything's been done before. All the pictures you see here look like all the other pictures out there. The question is, how well is it seen? What is the energy coming from this image? What is it saying to you? What is unique about this picture? And how does it relate to the person who took the picture? I'm dealing with color, shape, forms, uh, light, texture, the same elements that a painter works with. Uh, but the question is, put that all together, and what, what is the chemistry that comes out of that? I photograph this tulip garden every day for two weeks while it's out, because I know it's going to be gone shortly. And it's never the same twice. The light is always different. The kinds of tulips are, are quite miraculous and wonderful in this particular one. What the tulips reveal about color and light and interaction is, is uh, always different depending on the day, the light, how I'm feeling. It's really something. And the tulip garden is especially miraculous because these tulips bud, open, reveal themselves, wither, and die. And there's beauty in this entire process.